Hello, welcome back to gardening class. Today, in gardening class, we will learn about house plant facts. Okay, in this lesson, we will split it up into two important things. The first one that is about common house plant facts. This is about the kind of them. And the second one, we will learn about how to control house plant. Yes. So, we will go for the first lesson that is about common husband test. So, let's go to the next step. Caterpillar Caterpillar are easy to observe because of their size. They are one of life cycle from butterfly or moth, that is larva stage. They are easy to find out. They really like to eat leaves until all of them finish. Then they will move to other plants. It's also same like grasshopper. They have two kinds of things: the soft and the hard one. They jump to one plant and to another plant, or sometimes they are fly to eat leaves. Fruit flies. Fruit flies are flies who really like any fruit. They will attach to the fruit and insert their egg. It makes our fruit rotten because the egg hatching become larva in the fruit. Then the larva will suck or eat the fruit pulp. Epit. Aphids are another of the sucking insect that produce honeydew. They are small, soft-bodied insect, ranging in color from nearly colorless to green, to yellow, or to nearly black. In extreme cases, they will also distort new growth. White flies. White flies are white moth like insects. Immature white flies are even smaller. They are flat, oval, scale like insects normally found on the underside of leaves. It's not easy to spot this pale insect. All stages of white flies feed on plant sap using their piercing sucking moth part. Mealybugs. Mealybugs are soft-bodied insects that have white cotton. Usually, they go unnoticed until they are adult. Often, affected plants are sticky as mealybugs produce honeydew. Heavy infestation of mealybugs can disturb new growth in plants. Mealybugs suck out the plant juices and killing the plant. Scale insect. Scale insects are round, oval, or oyster shell shaped. Scales are usually found on plant stems and the underside of leaves, especially along mid veins. They use needle like mud parts to feed on plant sap, secreting sticky honeydew as an end product of that process. Heavy feeding causes leaves to yellow and drop and then slows growth. Trips. Trips are very small and slender. Usually they have dark color and however some types of trips are capable of living indoors on house plant year round. Trips feed by scraping leaves or flowers with their rasping mouth parts and then sucking the fluids that release. They will damage the leaves and distort the flower. Then make your plant die slowly. You know what? Almost all pests are insects. But from those insects, there are some of them help us in the garden 
to control the pest. Sometimes we call them natural predators or natural enemies for the pest. So, are you curious which insect of them? Let's go if you want to know. Go for next step. Ladybug. Ladybug is small insect that have red wings with black dots on it. Ladybug is natural enemy for aphids and thrips. They will eat those pests by suck the juice liquid from their body. Spider. Some species of spider sing pests commonly. However, we feel lucky if we find those spiders in our garden because they are a predator from any pest in our garden like bugs, aphids, and caterpillars. The pest will trap on spider web, then spider will eat them. Some pests that commonly eaten by spiders like bugs, aphids, caterpillar, and grasshopper. Ants. Some species from ants are natural enemies from any pest in the garden, especially pests from insect family. One of the species that natural enemies for some pests is red fire ants. They hunt their food by colony and their nest under the ground. They will come out from ground when dry season. The predator for some pests like caterpillar, beetles, bugs, epic, okay. and grass. Now, you will know about kind of houseplant pest. So, we will go for next lesson. That is about how to control houseplant pest. These are simple way about how to control them. So, for not waste of time, let's go for next slide. If you have plants in your house that is not too tall or big size and also not many, you can also use manual method like you cleaning by wiping or spraying by water or spraying by water soap and also you can take the pest manual like you can take the caterpillar by your hand if that way is not effective to control the pest you can use pesticide so what is that pesticide? pesticide is the way to control the pest by chemical substance there are two types of pesticide the first one that is natural pesticide and the second one is synthetic or synthetic pesticide both of them has good things and bad things it depends on how you use them if you use them in the right way you will have good results but if you don't use them in the right way you will find the other problem so use it wisely I recommend it for you guys to use houseplant pests for houseplant pests to use natural pesticide then the synthetic one. For natural pesticide, there are the pesticide that use natural ingredients. So, which natural ingredients that we can use for natural pesticide? Okay, let's go to the next slide. Tomatoes. Papaya leaves. It has bitter taste. Sour soap leaves. We use the leaves but not the fruit. Chilies. Lemongrass. It's not only for cooking, but we can also make the pesticide with it. Neem leaves. We have a lot at our school. And it can be used also for pesticide. 
atau bacon leaves. Jelengel. Ginger. Garlic. That's all our lesson today about the husband test. I hope you have better understand about this and you get it. And if you want to know to make natural pesticide, let's see this video. Okay? I was try garlic with natural ingredients to make natural pesticide. All about our method today. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.